Hello survivors and welcome to another video. In today's video we are back in Core Devourer. It has been released into early access and a good amount of things have changed. One, we've got achievements now, there's components, a whole lot of different things, there's new cores, um, uh, ways to unlock them like the Fury Blade has changed and uh, things like that. We've got something called a Drone Deployer now which is brand new, we've got Blast Fire Cannon, Echo Thruster, so quite a lot to do, a lot of videos to make on the game but today we're going to be playing on the Drone Deployer on the new map and uh, there's a whole bunch of achievements and unlocks and things to do there's now components as well which was never in the game before you get some really nice ones like this one over here which gives us 22 percent increased uh, xp value we got pickup range reroll chances and movement speed and then we've got something like this one with fire rate movement speed and reload chance and then if you don't like them like these ones over here you can actually dismantle them for more of the energy we then gonna try and pick up more catalysts as well as mithril mithril is only unlocked by beating the bosses the three bosses on each stage now we have uh, played the level on uh, Frostbart Fortress on the drone deployer. Uh, we do actually have to be defeat a, a couple of bosses or levels with the drone deployer to unlock one of the weapons. So we will be playing quite a lot of this. And then we are going to now be playing in the Relic Forest, which is a new level to us. So let's get straight into it and see how it goes. Uh, the, the way the drone deployer works is, as you can see, we only really shoot one, uh, uh, one bullet. But every time we kill enemies, uh, we are able to unlock more. So over here, we can summon a crystal sphere that moves around our position and deals 200% damage. It also gives us 11% increased uh, damage over there. And then we've got crystal sparks, which is also new. Summons crystal sparks from the ground every two seconds that deal 200% damage, increasing our damage over there as well. So we're going to go and grab that. Uh, we did have space debris last time that we played, but because it's giving us a nice big damage upgrade over there, we are going to grab it. And then we can go and grab ourselves the burning bullet for that 14% increased damage as well. Now, just by this turret that we just destroyed, uh, we were able to pick up a lot of XP. Uh, so there are going to be new things along the side, like edges of the map or on the map itself, that are going to give us increased... Uh, you know, the things uh, like a, a healing or the, the, the increased XP, uh, sorry, not XP, the, the increase, yeah, it was XP, sorry, I don't know what I'm talking about. So it gave us the increased uh, XP uh, that we can pick up off the ground. Uh, it wasn't an increase in percentage, what I mean is it was uh, uh, just random XP that we could get off of the floor for free, so that was really nice. I have no idea what that fire obelisk is, but you know, we went and destroyed it, maybe it has something to do with the... Uh, uh, something that's hidden or I don't know what but uh, those little crystals on the floor are for energy the the, the red orb that you saw that we destroyed was a, uh, a catalyst and then over here again like we mentioned uh, if you destroy this there's a whole lot of XP that drops on the floor so like I did I found that early on that gave us quite a nice a big chunk of XP so we were able to level up quite early over there Alright, so we're going to do Piercing Inferno uh, for that extra 14% increased damage. Uh, so we got a huge amount of damage over there. And we also got quite a lot of upgrades on the Cosmic Rain, which is really, really nice. Uh, but, uh, uh, you know, just, just huge amounts of damage. And now, as you can see, every time by our cursor, uh, when that bar, uh, bar the cursor goes fully pink, uh, we are able to get another drone a two spawn and that drone is going to have its own damage and everything like that and we can just continuously keep spawning them over and over again uh, as long as we keep killing more and more enemies so there are going to be parts of the game where like when, when you start adding more difficulties into it which we'll show you at the end of the run um, let's see here generates a phantom end near your position if you stay on it before it disappears you gain a stack each stack gains damage but it also gives us that 20% increased damage there as well. So uh, we'll run around trying to stand on the stacks if I can see them uh, so that we can get that increased juicy, juicy damage uh, for everything. But we do lose the damage as soon as we don't step on it. There is um, uh, somewhere on the screen an indicator on how many stacks you have. Oh, it's there in the corner, uh, just over there. 
below our uh, auto fire option so you do get the option to you know uh, at least see how many stacks you have and we did just get an upgrade to it to increase the amount of um movement speed we get from there from each stack now here's a new skill as well we've got tornado so now every so often we are going to spawn a tornado onto the 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 map and that's going to go crazy over there as well i think we actually have a huge amount of damage and if you're looking to really really destroy bosses and do a lot of damage to bosses uh, this is definitely the uh, character to be playing. I'll show you once we uh, get to the bosses and just how quickly we destroy their faces. So over here, here's the first boss and you can already see just how quickly we are able to destroy him. There we go, done and dusted. We do get the mithril for it as well. And a nice thing to do, ooh, plus one piercing. That's going to be huge. No, I need to pick up the stack. Ah, oh, I missed the stack. Alright, so over there, as you can see, we destroyed a tower that had a heart on it. We are missing a heart. We go, we pick it up, and we are able to pick up that uh, HP that we otherwise would need to, like, level up eight times to get or kill a thousand enemies to otherwise get. So being able to have that extra bit of um, life regen or life, getting more life is actually really, really nice for the game. So really, really nice changes coming in over there. It uh, looks like we may have another obelisk over here. Yes, we do. We do need to go and destroy it. We are getting a, a red symbol to be like, hey, broken, go there, kill this. Uh, reduce the time needed to summon tornadoes by, uh, to 1.5 seconds. That's massive legendary upgrade over there. And we also get the 20% increased damage from it as well. So we're going to keep spawning more and more uh, drones with the weapon. And then we're going to just keep going and destroying more and more enemies. So we're going to get like infinitely stronger and stronger. As well as... Ooh, what was that that just blew up over there? Very dangerous. Okay, where's my phantom disc? Oh, there. Oh, it was this dude actually. Alright, two debris fall at the same time. We're actually getting really good upgrades with the increased damage over here. Normally, uh, I don't get so many damage upgrades, but I guess as soon as I click record on OBS, uh, the games just know that uh, we got to give him a good video. So let's give him the insane RNG upgrades and things like that, you know. So here we go, double sparks, or we could go for the explosive burn. So 30% chance to for bullets to explode when hitting a burning enemy. Uh, we don't have a lot of burning. Here's a new upgrade called Irene's Aid. We're going to take this so I can show you what it does um, and what it looks like so that when you are actually playing, you can have a look at it. So remember how we have those towers that give us XP as well as um, healing and things like that. There is now going to be another tower that spawns a green one that if you damage it or i mean if you destroy it it's going to give you a buff that uh, depending on how many upgrades you have in that actual passive uh, they will be different or you know be increased compared to what you otherwise would have so we're gonna see over there the one thing that i have noticed is the enemies themselves aren't necessarily too different yes they are different colors um, and there are new enemies like new bosses and new enemies like the one that you can see trying to chase us this guy over there and these guys over here so there are new enemies but a majority of the enemies have just been recolored uh, would it be nice for the base enemies to maybe have uh, gotten a bit of an upgrade or change as well or maybe the area itself having different base monsters and the elites being something similar to other maps i don't know just my own uh you know two cents over there on that all right we're going to go for the dual cyclone over here just so that we've got that double upgrade uh it's also the the one reason i don't like something like the phantom stack is it actually i feel like it limits me i'm always looking out for the stack instead of running around looking for the catalyst like i should be doing although we do have four catalysts and as you can see the uh phantom discs kind of follow where you are so we don't really have to worry about it too much but uh, I don't know, it's just subconsciously I'm worried about them. I don't want to miss them and lose an opportunity to deal a whole lot of damage. I mean, look at that amount of damage done to that boss. Also, to unlock this... Oh, that's the Arini Tower over there, ladies and gentlemen. So as you can go... As you can see, we destroyed it and then we get a fire rate bonus. I, I believe it was a fire rate bonus. Uh, let's just quickly have a look at what it was. 
So the structures appear on the map, you gain 35% damage for 16 seconds. So a very, very big buff to us, especially just before a boss fight. You go and you pick that up and you will be doing huge amounts of damage. So a lot of ways to get more damage. Um, just like how Soulstone Survivors also has different curse levels, uh, this game has the same thing, so you can add different multipliers to get better rewards and things like that in the game, and it's going to help you a lot. Enter Berserk Mode every 25 kills for 5 seconds, uh, deal area damage to nearby enemies when you kill them. So that's fantastic, and we just missed our... Ooh, we didn't miss the thank goodness. Alright, perfect. Alright, so we need to get the 25 enemy kills so that we can get Berserk up and running. Uh, gotta go and grab that so we don't miss it out. But we need to go and destroy this fire. There we go. Look at that damage done and dusted compared to the beginning. Just how quickly we are able to kill those in comparison to the beginning of the run. Where it took us a good amount of time to kill them. I also need to remember to keep right clicking to activate more drones every so many uh, you know, enemies killed we get to summon another drone i haven't i don't think there is a limit but there might be a limit to how many you can uh, spawn at one given time uh, also i don't know why the sound effect is actually a lot higher than it should be but it is what it is we'll have to next time turn that down for everyone uh, this is new as well the cone blast we'll show you what it looks like and um, what it does is we get this a uh, cone like you saw over there and when we shoot it it blasts enemies in the area in front of it for a specific amount of damage so really really good as well for those damaging amounts we don't even get the chance to see the cone because you know i'd land up accidentally destroying it as it spawns so pretty funny over there uh, we don't want the negative damage, we can get the structure to give us movement speed as well. Uh, there we go, that was the cone, you got a little bit of a chance. It looks like a big shield around us and uh, just very, very strong as well in doing area damage to things. I lost all my stacks, man. Okay, we got another laugh. We do have a lot of movement speed as well, which is fantastic. Uh, we do also need to remember that we move faster if we don't shoot our weapon. So a lot of the time I actually forget that that's a thing in this game, that uh, when you are shooting, you uh, move a lot slower than if you didn't. All right, so we're gonna summon two crystal spheres simultaneously. That gives us more movement speed as well. And we are zooming over here on the map. I, I should have maybe taken an assimilation drone so we could pick up all of the XP that I'm leaving all over the place. But it is what it is. Now, again, we do have to finish a match in eight minutes to get the drone destroyer, which is the weapon we're using or whatever the weapon's actually called. The drone, uh, I don't know what the weapon's called, but uh, the weapon we're using is what we need to, we need to finish a map in uh, a specific time limit to unlock this weapon. So we'll show you how to do that in another video and just how easy it actually is. But also just remember that I have everything unlocked in my skill tree. And as you can see, we've unlocked the overclocker uh, with crit chance plus HP. I do just want to show you guys one more thing over here best time on map best time with the core and so on and so forth uh, so let's go and take a look at a couple things that are new firstly with regards to these components if you go into the play and you click on each map it actually shows you which components you can get from this map so the first map you can get damage movement speed dash cooldown second map is fire rate reload and xp and then we've got crit chance range and pickup range from this map. Now, if we wanted to say, let's get a time on eight minutes or lower, uh, all you do is increase your swarm amplification all the way to the max. And that's going to give you a whole lot of more enemies on the, the screen at any given time, meaning that you can kill more enemies faster to, you know, unlock the bosses and kill them a lot quicker so there's new weapons again we need to kind of look at them the other thing is is that you can get things like this over here uh, where we get swift generation uh, generation yeah which decreases the number of enemies required to spawn a drone so if we wanted to upgrade that we can uh, and then to unlock the other ones you can just go and check take a look at this so it would be core enhancers 
and we, we, we're going to go to two ones that we've unlocked already, like over here. So, unlock drone sacrifice, complete a match with the drone deployer, and add at least two adversary protocol modules active. Uh, and then eliminate a total of 5,000 enemies with the drone deployer. And that's going to help us unlock uh, these two over here to get increased things like the lifespan of the drones. And then also a bonus fire rates and so on and so forth. So really, really cool, really nice update. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And always remember, keep safe survivors. Until next time, cheers.